Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be talking about, um, quite late actually, it's quite late after exams, but I'm going to be talking about the books that kept me sane <laughs> while I sat my exams. So some of you may know, um, I had to drop a lot of A-levels before my exams, so I was left with one, which was health and social care. Now there's a lot of content behind health and social care, and I don't know why it has such a rep of being easy. Um, if you want to get a good grade, you have to work hard. Nonetheless, I did need study breaks and things to do in between, um, so I grabbed some books that I really, really enjoyed. These aren't necessarily books that I'd normally read, um, but I'm so glad I have. Um, I would normally just go, eh, they sound okay, but bleh. um yeah, but I picked them up and I think I'm going to pick up a few more like them. Um, so first up, I have Trouble. Um, by, I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember his um, name, I'll put it there, was it Non Pratt? I think it was Non Pratt, um, and I really enjoyed this one, um, it follows Hannah, and um, I, I think the cover kind of gives uh, it away, um, she gets pregnant very young, and um, it's about her reputation as opposed to the father's, and um, having a reputation, and trying to fit in at school, and trying to be cool, but then you're seen as a, a slag and it's all very um it was an interesting topic to explore this book was ideal for um revising because a chapter was only a page so you could pick it up and put it down um and have quick um short breaks and go back to revision and i really enjoyed that the plot was very easy to follow and i liked that there was also um a twist and a narrative um from yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say whose perspective, but there's a twist from another um, pivotal person's perspective um, within the book. I really enjoyed her relationship with her grandmother. Um, I have a really close relationship with my grandmother as well, um, so I really resonated with that one. So yeah. Um, I'd give that one a read if you're wanting something, maybe a beach read actually, um, or a holiday read, something quite light-hearted and quite quick. Um, next up I have something that wasn't so quick but I read quickly. <laughs> so, um, The Secret of Spell Shadow Manor by Bella Forrest. Um, I actually think this one's self-published. Um, she's read a lot of books, Bella Forrest, um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it follows Alex and Natalie. I thought it was Natalie but I've memory so I'm sorry. Um, Alex and Natalie. Natalie is an exchange student who comes to stay with Alex. Um, Natalie is from France, um, they are in school and um, he can see someone or something um, hovering around Natalie and that's where our story kicks off. I would not read the back if um, you're going to read this. Um, it's very much, um, it gives it away I think until about here. Honestly, I think that's the only bit that's not given spoiled by the back, so do not read the back. Um, it's about, it's very Harry Potter-esque, but I wouldn't say it has the warm and cosy feeling of Harry Potter. Um, yeah, they're marketing it, marketing it as Harry Potter, and I wouldn't say it is Harry Potter at all. Um, it's got aspects of magic um, that I really, really enjoyed, because I've said in a previous video I'm looking to get into magic um, style books, um, but... Um, I enjoyed it. It's not nothing's ever gonna be as good as Harry Potter, and I need to get over that. Um, but um, I would give this one a read. I loved that it was a nice big paperback, and it had nice big writing, so um, I could read it when I was tired and things. Because a lot of paperbacks are tiny, tiny um, writing. Um, I'd give this one a read if you're in a bit of a slump, um, it's quite fast paced, paced in places, um, in other places it does plod but it's a nice plod, it's a plod you enjoy reading, um, so yeah I'd give this one a go. Finally, and I've been keeping hold of this one for ages because I sat my exam six weeks ago, um, no, well I've, I read this six weeks ago and then my exam was about, whoa, I think it was a month ago, no, three weeks ago. Um, so I've got Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornell. Um, I commented on this, um, I think it was in a TBR video, um, but I hadn't, obviously I hadn't read it, I'd just started it. Um, this follows Nora, who has agoraphobia. Um, I loved um, the physicality um, that the book portrayed of her agoraphobia. 
Um, I've never read a book like it, um, so raw and honest. I didn't realise the extent, um, the physicality that agoraphobia can have on your life. Um, I think a lot of fiction glosses over things. I certainly find that with disability. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a brilliant and honest read. Um, it follows her as a boy uh, moves in next door called Luke um, and it kicks off from there. Um, I'm not going to say much more because I think book backs give off too much information. So yeah, um, quick read, um, quite small writing but it was okay. Uh, I just had to put the purple glasses on <laughs> and everything was good. Thank you for watching. Um, if you've got have read any books recently, especially during exams, I would love to know about them because I think they're a good fallback um, when I think during exams and stressful periods there's a big warning, warning um, a reading slump occurring so you've got so much going on in your life you can't you can't physically read anymore so um, I think it's good to have some books like that on the back burner just in case you need them so I'd love to hear your recommendations below as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're new, I'd love you to subscribe, but I understand if you don't want to, <laughs> obviously. Um, if you like this video, um, if you like this style of video, I'm trying to be a bit more chatty and say mmm less because I'm getting less nervous around the camera because I think you're all awesome. I'll see you again next time. Bye.